Richard Nolan is dead. What? Says who? Hey everyone, and welcome back to State of Mind. Uh, Richard has just ripped the brain out of Simon, but he's an android, so that's okay. And Adam's just picked up the little kid from the hospital, so everything's gonna be fine. Do we need to schedule our new appointments? Nope, can't even talk to her. Question about your stay at the clinic? Mona is here 24 hours a day. Sounds good. I think it would be good to have uh, doctors and nurses who... So, well, I mean, the doctors and nurses aren't Sykes robots, about. but Nothing. if they never got tired, that'd questions. be useful. What kind of questions? Doctor patient confidentiality. Okay. Really? You're gonna pull the comp? Who the fuck are you? Kid? Jeez. You've got a loud voice if you're saying that from back there. I'm your dad. I pretty much essentially have ownership of you, <laughs> probably in this crazy future. It's like, if I want to read your medical records, I'll read your freaking medical records. And I'll let Henry read them too. Right, I guess we have to call Amy if it's not going away. Hey, Adam, wife. Where are you two? Are you coming home? We'll be right there. Perfect. See you soon. At least we will be if the glass floor doesn't literally split apart and then regrow itself. Well, it's fine if it regrows itself if it doesn't. Yeah, I, I guess robot doctors might have a slightly looser moral interpretation of their duties. So, yeah, maybe we'll leave the AI to plane pilots. That's not going to go wrong. Central, or City 5 Central on? Plaza. He asked questions. Normal questions. How I felt, what I was thinking. Well then, what are you thinking? Okay, fine. Yeah, the way the kid said that, it's kind of like we don't ever ask him how he's doing. Maybe Adam's not such a great dad after all. You are watching oh? the present. Your life is our poetry. Everything that matters to you, Mr. Adam Newman. Welcome to the present. Yeah, this is like full minority report. Time. A milestone of our age. Project Independence. Richard Kane has joined us at the present, owner of Infinity Technologies and governor of City 5. Governor, thank you for finding the time in your busy schedule to talk to us today. So, completing Project Independence. Are you nervous? You bet. <laughs> in a positive way. Explain to our viewers why this project is so important. Well, didn't you feel the earthquake today? There was an earthquake? Oh, so that's what it was. <laughs> the technical term is geohazard. Now, I don't want to bore your viewers with all the technical details. Thank you. <laughs> I don't understand most of it myself. <laughs> but the exploitation of natural resources, the thing that has made our Earth so scarily unstable over the past years, Project Independence will solve all those problems forever. Sounds like a lot of work. Sounds too good to be true. We will reveal an impressive new landmark of our city, a little sister of our dome, so to speak. Uh, but that's all I'm going to say right now. Will the barriers to the outer regions be lifted then? After a short transitional phase, until then it is still forbidden to leave the city, I'm afraid. This Sunday, this Sunday, the 19th of January. You won't forget the date. It'll soon be in every history book. Governor, thank you for your time. That was Governor Kane. Okay, it would be annoying if your TV kept rotating like that. That's interesting, though. Like, our dome, we're not able to leave it. It sounds kind of like... I don't know, is this a... An isolated place for the rich? I mean, it definitely seems richer than Neo-Tokyo down below. Or, rather, it's Berlin, isn't it? I keep thinking it's Neo-Tokyo, because it's just got that aesthetic. But yeah, it looks like um, there's a bit of totalitarianism going on here. And uh, something else I was going to say, which I can't remember, but still. Yeah, that was an interesting little conversation. Come and visit Liquid Sky. Uh, where, where are we going? Uh, we're going to the tower. I knew that. Yeah, for a while I was thinking maybe this is uh, the Cybertunk Utopia, but maybe this is also reality. John? Hello, Pinboard Adam? Inventories. 
Mom? Where's our hollow pin board? Sounds like a futuristic dart set. Ah, note. Note from Amy, written on Monday morning. Oh, Alright, oh, yeah, we saw that. But Nanny is coming. This is the kid's picture. Hmm. A circle. Hmm. Is that fractals? Looks kind of like a spirograph. Remember those? Uh, which office was it? An award. Yes, Adam Newman. So, do we have a hollow pin board? Oh, yes, yes, we do. I remembered. Been a couple of days, but I remember things. Uh, recovery processors. Date book. Tuesday, Nanny for John. Daily Tanium at the rec center. John is introverted and talks little. At least to us. Maybe to the doctor he opens up a bit more. There's mother. Mom, thank God. Hello. Are you feeling better? Sure. You're looking less pale. Thanks. I. Yeah, I, I feel better. Can I go play? Ah, uh, but no Oops. rampaging. Damn it. You probably Again, have I'm a skipping the lanes by mistake. I don't actually. Sure. Why would you? Sorry, my head is spinning. I have to finish up here. Is Governor Kane making you do overtime now? No rest for the oh, wicked. Okay. Still the same project? Yeah, but it will be great, Adam. Perfect. You'll see. So she's uh, working for the governor. It sounds like she's kind of an assistant, maybe? Don't know. I could sort of see the dominoes getting set up. I don't know where they're going to fall, but... Interesting. Oh, this accident. I still can't remember anything. Maybe it's for the best. Post-traumatic stress. Dr. Sykes said it'll go away. So, a nanny. Am I such a bad father? Yeah, no. probably. I'd say you're more of a... I mean, you're not a complete dud. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that's a nanny so wonderful. Bad? John never had problems being alone. John is seven. You want to work again. I'm hardly at home. I think she would be good for him. She'll keep him grounded. Okay? Okay. I have to get some work done. Lie down. Get some rest. You worked on your painting hey, that's at all? Good. Thank you, Adam. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I get the feeling that Adam is outwardly nicer than Richard. He's not quite so much a dick, but internally he's kind of the same personality of he wants his own way and he doesn't really seem to care about the people around him as much as himself. Maybe I'm wrong. Berlin Central, Monday, January the 13th. Richard Nolan's apartments. How are you today, sir? Good. Fantastic. Should I make you a... No. <laughs> uh, Steve Collins. Incoming call. Hi, Steve. Hey, Richard. How you doing? I'm still alive. Many Central called us to... We were worried about you. I bet you were. Seriously. Oh, wow. Cold. Frank said you would rest up for a bit. I'm fine. I'm coming by. I have to have a chat with you anyway. Privately. Oh, oh yeah, Jenny oh, said you might want to do that. Everything happens at once, right? Okay. I'll see you soon. See ya. Your hollow pinboard shows clues and current objectives. Pinboards can find Richard's and Adam's studies. Okay, interesting. So when he said in private, is he referring to Simon or is it just the hollow phone network in general? That you can't trust. Are you looking for what do you something? want, Simon? Can I help? You can help by shutting your mouth. <laughs> You're such an asshole. Kind of hope we'll get to play Shard Chest at some point, but at the same point, I'm not that bothered. Ah, yet another bombing Martian colony is something drone attack. Yeah, things aren't super great here. Bullet Surprise awarded to Richard Nolan on the 28th of May 2037 in the category investig investigative reporting. 
Outstanding journalistic work in uncovering the Drone Gate affair. Okay, I don't remember seeing that, but oh, look at that. Our, our what's it called? Our augmented reality is reflected in the desk. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I didn't notice that last time. So it looks like we're kind of a... Maybe not a has-been, but... Maybe not a super is be. So Tracy got scanned for the colony. Did she meet him? Where's James? Where's my son? Who visited Tracy in the apartment? I need Steve's help to read out Simon's module. Okay, right. Okay. Hey, clean bot. I like you. Simon, you're a dick. I'm not sure why, but you are a dick. Let's go and take a hover car. Actually, no, let's take the train to, to work, sir. Steve's. I've gotta go. I wish you a productive and successful day. So yeah, we're not just a journalist. We're a prize-winning, really, really super good investigative journalist. So we're going to have contacts. And I think we're going to need them. Come back. Wow. You're not a drug dealer. This is a pretty cool city. I mean, apart from the depressing pollution. Which I'm assuming is hanging around in the air, but, um... And, like, you know, this place is just gonna be riddled with poverty. But what can you do? Cab. Vehicle is the property of Cab Car Inc. Use at your own risk. Cab Car takes no responsibility for to damage, bleh, for damage to person or property. So, is this a self-drive taxi? Okay. Hey man, hold up. Oh, fuck you. Passwords, wizards, dark cloud logins. Jace here can get you. Oh, okay. I'm not interested in your crap. Is there dealing? Digital drugs? That's interesting. Liar. Illegal print item. This item does not fall in accordance with the registration and safety guidelines of the United States of the West. Owning distributing this item is prohibited. Registration of this item required by law. Break points. Fight with us. Let's leave that alone. Ooh, a kiosk. Let's buy some tabac. An ident or identified person, Schultzheimer Randy, Sector 57 Berlin, small business owner. This is a small business, indeed. Mm -hmm. ah, at least someone's keeping this business alive. Didn't you leave for Mars? Make a new start and all that? Yeah, Nolan, I got myself scanned. I guess that's stupid to you. I do have my principles. And I do have quite a mortgage. You have your principles? About... Not going to Mars? What's your problem? Is something really shady going on Sir, with Mars colonia? colonization run? Oh. I'm miles away from you. Be quiet. I just want to go to work. You're expected on floor two before this building is under surveillance. Please comply with the instructions of our service and safety personnel. I hope under surveillance means there are cameras in operation. Not that. The police are actively keeping an eye on this place. And that's not a QWERTY keyboard. But, I mean, we are in Germany, so... Is that a QWERTS that you use over there in Germany? Perhaps? Maybe? I do not know. Probably should look it up. Probably won't. Troy. Morning. morning. Richard, I'll talk to you later. Uh, okay, good talk. Who is he? That is Mr. Davis, sir. Davis? Never heard of him. Is he new? Mr. Lloyd will introduce you. He is expecting you. God, what's the emergency? That does not sound go good. Talk to Steve first. So. Okay, the times are actually different. Not standardized on one single cyberpunk future time. Richard, come on, oh, let's take a look at you. 
Ex examine Carry, goddammit. Uh, Carry Spitz, Sector 3, Berlin News Carrie, Analyst. Could you give us a minute? Of course. What's going on? Hold on a second. State. Steve Collins, Sector 7, Berlin News Editor. Hey, you look good. You should go to hospital more often. But rest up for a little while longer, okay? I that was meant work, well, Steve. so thanks. Ah, oh, nonsense. We got Troy now. Take a break. Think of your health. Great, so we're now being replaced at work. Richard Nolan does not react kindly to things. What do you mean things. you've got Troy now? Is he going to pay my rent too? Well, you should probably ask him that yourself. Support for the team, that's all he told us. I see. Tracy. Listen, Steve, I've got to talk to you. It's about Tracy. You're not splitting up, are you? Uh. Splitting up? Of course not. Okay. I mean, even though she clearly has left us. Mean, okay. Did Tracy say something? Well, Jennifer mentioned something along those lines. That you're fighting. Hmm. And why didn't you say anything? People fight, Oops. it happens. It, it doesn't have to mean you're gonna split up. Look. Tracy's gone. What do you mean, gone? She said she wanted to take James to her parents and come back Sunday. That was yesterday. Have you been looking for her? I've called everywhere. She's not at her parents, she's not at the hospital. Well, she'll be back soon, I'm sure. I think she's with another man, Steve. Yeah, I think it's way more likely she's just left us, but this is a game, so by that logic, like meta game, meta logicking, is that a thing? It's probably a massive government conspiracy. She bought a bot. One of those base Thank you, why would she buy a bot for us and then just leave us? Five. What'd she buy that for? That's actually to annoy me, a probably. point. The bot has a memory Although she knows that we Yo, hate bots, so... I yeah. want to check its log. The bot recorded who entered my apartment. She's leaving? Fine. But James is staying with me. I get it. Now, as far as I know, those chips are encrypted. And that's where you come in. <laughs> just show it to me. Okay. That's a level two encryption. I can manage that. It'll take some time, though. At least an hour. I have to talk to Frank. Long enough to have our meeting. Hey, don't worry about them too much. There'll be an explanation. Okay, Steve. See you later. Can we, like, prank call him from here? Turn away from the wall. What? I'm ready. That was odd. Uh, Steve. This contact is currently Oh, offline. he's offline. What are you doing, Richard? I can see you. There's Richard. Texting okay. from a few hey. feet away. In Berlin, there's been yet another bombing attack on Kurtz Robotics. That was probably us. Okay, so Breakpoint is like the biochauvinism, humans first re uh, reactionary movement. Property of the voice authorization granted. Other users Troy and Frank. Don't know if we've. Why did you just turn away from your keyboard, you idiot? Who's this? Troy. Mr. Nolan. Yes. I wanted to introduce myself. Not now, please. I'm busy. Uh, but I. Later, okay? Okay, fine. You're just a dick to everyone, aren't you? Uh, Troy Davis, Sector 02, Berlin Central. Can we do anything else here? Hello, Mr. Nolan. Hi. Okay, I thought we had to Richard, go upstairs, but. Come in. That's nice, he's got his office on the ground floor with us. Yeah, no idea. Just an accident. You can't remember anything? Not the accident, no. What did the doctor say? They said I'll get over it. That's good to hear. <laughs> You'll have to tolerate me a little longer yet. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, Richard, listen. You don't have to rush back into it. Think of your health. You have a family. My family is none of your business. Of course not. It's just that you should take a step back. Really. Don't worry about work. We'll be fine. You'll be fine? What do you mean? Is there something I should know? Uh, wait a second. Uh, Mr. Lloyd, I have time now. A little later, Troy. I'm talking with an old friend. Apologies. Uh, let me close the door. Okay. Now we won't be interrupted. That's not creepy. What's going on, Frank? Listen, Richard. 
I've been wanting to talk to you for a while about this. We've been given new directives from the management. Uh -huh. Yes. They concern the work you're doing. Am I fired? You can't be serious, Frank. No, not fired. We... We are just restructuring a little. We would so like yeah, to have you fired. on board as a freelance writer. You'll get a framework contract for one year, and then after that, we'll see. <sighs> this is like the one guy we've not been openly hostile to. So I'm not sure if Richard would actually complain here at this point. I think he would actually <sighs> give in with I this understand. guy. Can I at least keep my desk in the newsroom? Richard, we've known each other for a long time, but you have to understand. Fine. Got it. You're a man with an agenda. What we need are journalists. Mankind's abolishing itself, Frank. And what, we can't write about that now? I'm not a terrorist. Richard, it's out of my control. The decision's been made. But you are always welcome here. You can keep using the cloud services. Okay. And if you need anything... I'll come to you. Hey, we're professionals, right? You know as well as I do that things can go this way. Sure, Frank. You probably have stuff to do. Wow. Okay, let's go back out and crap that flyer then. Time to join the terrorist resistance, glorious heroes of the revolution. Hey, Richard. Long time no see. Fuck you, because Cindy. I wasn't here. Wow. Uh, jeez. Right, you finished? It's been at least wow. four seconds. What's made you so peeved? Hey, what's up? Something happened? Or did Frank put you on some crappy job? Well, yes no. and no at the same time. What then? What happened? I'm fired. What? Thrown out. Yeah. Why? You'll have to ask Frank. Some nonsense. A directive from the management. I'm out. But with a short-term freelance contract. That's unbelievable. You should get a lawyer. Ah, oh, come on. So, you have to clear your desk now? Your new colleague Troy will be sitting there tomorrow. Frank is still letting me run around here a bit, though. I can still use the network. Generous, right? How's the memory chip coming along? Oh, yeah. Whoa, okay. It's done. And it would take at least an hour? Show me. Okay, fine. It was Steve. Uh, oh, okay, we're actually in here. Dude, nice. No, it has to be one of the other rooms. Damn. Oh, wow. This is weird. Oh. That's not it. So are we trying to... Make like a aha. Uh -huh. Oh, switch tiles. I thought it said switch files in the bottom right. Yeah, well, we can see them now. Okay. Yeah, she left us for another guy. Damn. Which, honestly, having experienced you a little bit, Rich, I can understand. Damn. You're a dick. Yeah. You see him? What is that idiot doing in my apartment? Looks like he's helping Tracy pack her things. He's speaking to my boy. Hmm. I'll kill him, Steve. I swear to you, I'll end his life. Who is he? Richard. You don't even know what Tracy has to do with him. He could just be helping her move. Yeah, helping sure. Helping her move? It's obvious what's going on. Tracy ran off with this... this... And James. She took James, too. I have to know who that is. I have to get my boy back. You gotta help me, Steve. What? Identify him? Sure. Uh, I can try. Do a facial comparison. Send it through the database. Okay. Is that a thing that anyone can do, or just journalists? Nothing. Nothing at all? He must have left some trace in the cloud. Maybe he's a hacker. What about his movements? I was actually going to suggest we need to get a script kitty to help can. us. I don't really like it, but... Move scan. We'll check his movement profile and find out who he is. Richard, 
Moofscan is a police database. We'll find him that way. Didn't you write a huge article about that? I know, Steve, but this is about my boy. We just need access. That's illegal. And anyway, how are you going to get clearance? I'll take care of that. There's sources out there. Okay, Steve. Thanks for now. I have to go. I'll call you. That's a scary looking drone with a TV screen. Is that scanning everyone? Is it delivering news to our news organization? No, come back. This has been the second attack of its yeah, it's got like a screen, but no actual parcel. In Interesting. Warsaw, a drone attack by the Eastern Union within the Eastern Security. Hey, I was listening to that. A 250 story administration. That's weird. Right, I guess we need to find the police. In which case, I'm really glad we didn't pick up that flyer. Oh yeah, that's a good point. We do actually have an inventory system. Can we throw stuff away? Kurt's holographic scanning labs. Matt Walker. Can we check this guy out, maybe? We've still got the calibration keys. Simon's probably pissed off. Uh, where are we going then? Oh, we'll go and talk to the hacker guy we literally just talked to. Nanoscan cell. What's this? The cell is property of the government. Please follow all instructions given by police. The robot police. And I don't mean they police the robots. Identified person Jackie Schreier. Geolocation missing. Unemployed. So. In the back if you need anything. Yeah, sure. What's the worst that can happen? Apart from getting horribly murdered. No way. Long time no see, man. Yeah, at least five minutes. Or an hour according to Steve. If you need something? Hmm, I knew it. Where's the guy that was just here? Your friend. Jace? Hey, not now, dude. Jace is talking to Dr. Roboarm. Roboarm? About an hour ago. Are you totally sure? Okay, understood. Uh, he's a little busy right now, man, uh, but I'm also open for business. You said you have illegal passwords. I need one for MoveScan, for some research. MoveScan? We got you. That's 800. All encrypted, of course. Do we... <clears throat> do we have 800? Oh, what do you know? Here he comes again. <laughs> I'll call you back later. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> I was just talking about you. Really? With whom? Maybe you want to tell me your name. What for? I'd like to know who I'm doing business with. Okay, fine. Richard. Mm-hmm. Just Richard? Nolan. Richard Nolan. I'm a journalist. Sure. Richard Nolan. They seem to exactly. recognize us earlier. Got a problem with that? No, but you do. He looks like Crichton from Red Dwarf. Get him! Ah, oh, shit. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Relax. I just wanna... listen to me, cop. Next time you want to pretend to buy, pick another fake name. What? I'm not a cop. Richard Nolan is dead. What? Says who? Says Jay. He sends his regards and wishes you a pleasant stay in hospital. Deal with him. Shit, son. Well, this looks like an enticing nightmare. And yeah, we're Adam. In a tunnel full of police and holographic barriers. But what we're doing in here, we're going to have to find out next time. If you like what you see, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, sub to the channel, share the video. It really helps out a whole lot and I appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. See you then.